Hello students, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we will study about different methods for uh, using which you, you can write to a file. So there are two methods that can be used to write to a file. The first is the write method and the second is the uh, write lines method. But before that, just a quick reminder that what we have studied previously is that whenever you open a file in a write mode, then the previous data of that file is erased and the file offset is at the beginning of the file. Now, in contrast, whenever you open the file in the append mode, the new content will be added at the end of the existing data. The contents will not be erased. Okay, the contents, existing contents will not be overwritten. Rather, the new content will be added at the end of the existing data and the uh, file offset is at the end of the file to append okay now we are right we are uh, uh, studying the methods to write to a file okay so to write to a file uh, this these both both these methods can be used whether you have opened the file in the write mode or in the append mode depending upon the mode access mode in which you have opened the file you can these functions will work accordingly okay but actually let's study what these functions are so the first is the write method the write method is used to write a single string to a file so uh, this particular method will take a string as its argument and this will uh, this method will write that string to the text file so we are currently working with text files writing uh, contents in a text file so the write method will be used to write one string at a time okay now this method will return the number of characters that it has written to the file in a single execution so if you write a string say abc using the write method the return value of this method would be three because the number of characters you have written to the file are three but there is a catch in this particular uh, method. The catch is that with every string that you specify as an argument to this method, you need to specify the new line character at the end. Now, this new line character counts as a single character. Okay, so when you are writing the string ABC, you will append the new line character. That means the two characters slash N at the end of the characters abc and then you will write to the file or uh, when the function executes the return value would be four because this new line character is counted as one character and three characters from the string abc okay so uh, remember that the argument to the write function has to be a string which is ended by the new line character okay and if you want to write numeric data, you must first convert the numeric data into a string before writing it to a file using the write method. Okay. Now, again, as I've told you in the previous video that the write function will only uh, write the contents to a buffer. And when the function, call, when the file in which you are writing is actually closed, then the contents are written from the buffer to the file so you need to close the file or use the with clause that will automatically close the file okay otherwise the contents will be written to the file when the program is terminated or the corresponding file handle is assigned to some other file okay now let's take an example for the write function so if we want to write to a file named mytextfile.txt and we are writing in the write mode, w mode, that means all the existing contents will be erased if there are some contents. Otherwise, a new file will be created with this name. Okay, so I'm creating a file handle named my file, which will be associated with, the, with this particular file named mytextfile. Now I want to write the content mind your exam channel to this particular file. So what will I do? I use the write method. I use the string mind your exam channel and at the end I append. I add the new line character which is slash n and execute this command. So when you uh, execute this command and then close the file, 
the contents these the string that you passed will be written to the file and if you store the return value of this statement somewhere you will see the return value would be 23 because the string mind your exam channel itself has 22 characters including the space characters and one additional character for the new line okay so that is why the return value of the write function will be 23 another example is of writing a numeric value so as i mentioned if you want to write a numeric value you must first convert the numeric value to a string that is why we have stored this value in a variable named marks we have converted it into a string and then called the write function or the write method and then we have um, called this uh, method on the file handle that we are using for the file marks.txt okay then we have closed the file and this content will be written once the file is closed now coming to the second method the write lines method so the write lines method is used when you want to write multiple strings to a file in one go so writing one string at a time can be a little tiring so that is why you can use the write lines method now what is the argument to this method that you need to pass so the argument to this method should be an iterable data type variable so what mean what that means is you can pass any list any tuple or any data type that can be iterated that has multiple elements such that each element can be written to the file one by one so if you have say five strings you can create a list each string will become an element of the list so it will be a list of five strings and then you use this list to uh, as the argument to the write lines function and all the lines written in the list will be written to the file okay so uh, one difference one an, another difference with the write and the write lines function is that the write lines function does not return the number of characters that are written to a file the write function returned but the write lines function does not return the number of characters so now this is an example where uh, i'm opening the file named myfile.txt in the write mode and I have a list named lines. The list contains two elements. The first element is mind your exam with a, a new line character. And the second element is YouTube channel. So when I pass this particular list named lines to the write lines method and call it on the my file object, what will happen is the file will now contain the these particular contents mind your exam and youtube channel written in separate lines now why these are written in separate lines because in the first string i wrote a new line character at the end if this new line character would not have been present the second string would have been added at the end of the first string okay so when the file will be closed, all these contents will be written to the file named myfile.txt. So these were the two methods, the write and the write lines method that can be used to write any content to a text file, whether you have opened it in the write mode or the append mode. So that was all for today. I hope you have understood these uh, functions. In the next video, we will see how to read content from text files and what are the different methods for doing so. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.